but we've done the, the right eye and we found it to be minus three two five so we're going to now do the same for the left so we sorry we, <laughs> yeah we <laughs> we occlude the right lens now and we're going to put the Snellen chart on again so we're going to turn that on I'll come to the durochrome a bit later on so now without any lenses in the uh, trial frame Alan can you tell me how far down the chart you see? I can read the top three quite easily and then the fourth one right PNX and I'm not sure if it's an O or okay. a C so the fourth one is not quite right. right so with the right eye he could only see the top line so he was 660 in that eye unaided and in the left eye he can see down to 618 unaided so it seems that the left eye is actually um, slightly better than the right so I'm just gonna put the pinhole in so we, we were seeing 618 and how does that affect your vision? Oh, that's a lot better I can read the top five lines easily and pretty much down to the bottom but one line L A okay. O E that's great V K and not okay. perfectly so with the pinhole we know that he has refractive error because that pinhole has brought him right down to almost the bottom he can read six seven five with the pinhole so we know that he's got refractive error we know that glasses are going to help him so it's just a good little test to do um, so we're going to take that out and again we know that he is myopic he's short-sighted so we're going to start similar to the way we did before we're going to start with a minus two and we'll just see where we go so Alan, I'm going to put a minus two into the trial frame. If you could look at the chart and let me know whether that is better for you. A lot better. I can read all the chart, no problem. I right. Can read the bottom line quite clearly. So with minus two, he's able to get right down to the bottom. So that's that's very good. Now we're going to just try and offer up an O50 to see whether that makes any improvement for him. So Alan, can you just tell me whether the, the lines look sharper with the extra minus 050 or not, or whether it just makes the letters a bit darker? Uh, no, it's no clearer at all. It's, it's worse, if anything. Worse? Yeah. So that is better. The yeah, that's much better. Right, okay. Yeah. So that is, um, let's just try with a minus 025. So just a little bit of extra minus, just to double check. So if you could look at the chart and just compare, how does that feel? Um, so not much different actually. Um, I don't need it. it, it's about the same. About the same. Yeah. Okay, minus two in the left eye. We're going to just look at the duochrome again because it's always good to fine tune the best vision sphere using the durochrome. Now, do the targets look clearer in one or, the, one or the other of those? I would say they are just about equal. If anything, the green is slightly, very slightly bolder and clearer. But it's almost, right. almost the same. Almost the same. Well, we can add a, maybe a little bit of a plus just to double check that. So I'm going to just see whether, just offer up the plus 025. Looking at those two targets, does that equalize them? Uh, could you do it again? It's very, uh, yeah, I think it does actually. The plus just equalizes. Yeah, that's, okay. that's equal now. Yeah. So we're going to end up now with a minus 175 in yeah. the left eye as the best vision sphere. So we're going to put a minus 175 in there. And that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's okay. Equal. Dead equal now. Dead equal. So we're going to remove this occluder and I'm going to put what we found in the other eye, which was a minus 325. So we've now got the best vision sphere in place. Remember when the best vision sphere is working, it's doing its job, it means that the circle of least confusion is on the retina. And that gives us the best compromised vision with a spherical lens.